Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome back everyone to this next episode of Jim and Java. Always excited to be here to answer your fundraising questions. We've got a great show ahead for us today. If you enjoy what you hear, be sure to hit the like button and put comments down below. If you've got questions for the Jim and Java show, include those in the comments section below or make sure that you reach out to me at a wide variety of platforms. You can reach out on Twitter at uh, DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. You can reach out on Instagram at DevEffectivenessStrategies and also reach out to me on gmail at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com let's get into our first question for the day our first question today is from annie in fredericksburg virginia and annie asked the question with the focus on coming to the dinner as our guest and make a financial gift how much do you share about actual dinner costs and expenses well, thanks, Annie, for your question. Um, the, co the question of dinner costs and expenses has come up many times over the years because, of course, in doing the model that I like best, we always recommend that you don't charge people for tickets and you don't sell tables. So knowing that individuals are coming to your event at no cost, and so there always is a question about how much does my meal cost? And to be real frank, I always avoid the question or avoid answering the question as much as I can. Uh, and the reason being is that I'm not uh, embarrassed, afraid to mention what the cost is for the dinner. But I don't want to lead with that because too often people will give the cost of what the meal was and add that to their donation. So in other words, that cost will be their donation. Uh, normally, if a meal costs $50 a person, as an example, uh, if I tell someone it costs $50, they might actually give a $50 gift or could potentially give a little bit more. But I've just found that if I can leave that on the table for people, that they will end up giving significantly more. They'll end up giving at least 100, maybe 250, maybe 500. So the cost of the dinner itself is, is a, ends up being somewhat of a distraction if you put that out there. Now I've had the question, do we not need to put that as a value and subtract the cost of the meal from the, din from the donation? And the answer to that is no. In a model that we use, where you don't charge for tickets or charge for tables. So there's no uh, cost whatsoever, no selling of those things, no cost to the person coming in. Then 100% of that gift is tax deductible. So as a result, we don't have to put the cost of the meal or the value of the meal. We don't have to reveal that. So I've just found over the years that it is so much better not to put that out there in your printed materials, in your invitation. Uh, the, there always is a risk that someone would give a gift that would be less than $50. Now again, remember, you've got to look at what is the real actual cost of an event. I don't believe that adding in printing and postage, although that is a cost of your event, that's an expense, but I don't believe it's fair to take the number of people who come to your event and divide printing costs, as an example, by the number of people. Because those printing, uh, the printing and postage and mailing services to, to market your event shouldn't be placed on the people who came to your event. That went out to, you may have 350, 400 people at your event, but you may be mailing an invitation to a thousand people. So why put the cost of printing on those 350 people who come to your event? That's not the right way to do it. If you're going to take a cost per plate and charge that from, from as you're calculating a cost per person, that may be a valid cost. But to add in printing and postage to the cost per person who shows up, to me, is not a valid way 
of, of measuring your expenses per person. So realistically, if, if you're saying it costs $50, it might actually, in reality, the cost of the meal plus taxes might only be $35. That may be a more accurate number. And as I said, to be concerned about the fact that somebody may give less than that, well, I, it is a risk, but it's not one of the, I believe it's a calculated risk and it doesn't happen that often. We will have anywhere statistically between eight and 10% of the people won't give a gift or will give less than the cost of their meal. And so uh, that's not really that bad when you consider the 90 to 92 percent of the people are giving more than the cost of that meal. So that really makes it a very, very worthwhile and valuable way to raise money for your organization. So Annie, I hope that helped you and I appreciate so much the question. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show today. Jim and Java, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to leave some comment or question below if you've got that in the comment section. Be sure to let us know if you actually charge for ticket prices, sell tickets, or sell tables. And also, if you have ever let your guests know what the actual costs are for your meal or for the dinner. And uh, that would uh, definitely help us to know what others are doing. And please make sure that if you need to reach me, you can do so at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. As I always say, we strive to reach our goal of helping you to increase income and become fully funded. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you next show.